Through These Doors, presented by First Community Credit Union. ability to win game after game after game. In order to win a regional or the NCAA uh, national title, you got to win two games on a weekend. We've done that the past two weekends. we got to make sure that each and every weekend, it's not just one game, it's not no games, it's two games. We want to win two games and we want to keep that consistency. That's our motivation. There's a lot at stake for us. Uh, we we want to get as high a seed as possible in the tournament um, to set us up. And I think if Omaha makes a tournament there in uh, Sioux Falls or whatever, so, so they have a lot on the line for us and that's kind of motivating. Enough. Omaha is 17th in the pairwise. You firmly have to be in 14 and above to be in the tournament. So they're fighting for that 14th spot or, or higher. Uh, they know that we're a top team coming in, that in order for them to get to where they need to go, they have to go through us. Once again, and welcome from Baxter Arena in Omaha, Nebraska. It is the final regular season weekend in the NCHC. North Dakota with the Penrose Cup. UND will be in first place at the end of the regular season. Omaha, on the other hand, have got a ton to play for this weekend, that's for sure. Oh, a dead giveaway there, and they just missed it. Now they shoot from the right point and score. Jacob gave it, and then it's 1-0 Omaha. Drops it behind to Livanovich. Far side shot. The goal by Cameron Berg. And his return to Omaha. 20th goal of the season. And it's one to one. Look, he's pass picked up. Came right back to him. He shoots and scores. Tanner Ludke with his 10th goal of the season to give Omaha the two to one lead. And loose out into the circle. Fed to the near side. They shoot and score. Mancini lights the lamp. Britt with it, takes the shot, goes behind the net, tried to bank it in, and he did! Britt banks it in off of the goaltender, let Cozy, and it's three to two. Five on the clock. Perron, one more chance, and time is gonna run out. Omaha improves to 15 and one in one goal games. And they snap North Dakota's four game winning streak. Good evening and welcome from Baxter Arena in Omaha. We've got the final game of the regular season here tonight for North Dakota as they take on the Omaha Mavericks trying to get a split in the weekend series. LeMay who fed it to the right side, a shot, person with a save, rebound, oh, and that one hit the defense in front, and then another rebound and they score. There it all, and it's 1-0 Omaha. And the centering pass went wide. From the far side, it comes off the end boards and a shot and a goal by Matt Miller. Miller scoring his sixth goal of the season to make it two to nothing. 
Fed to the blue line shot from there, they score. Proctor so far will get his seventh goal of the season. Perron to Blake to Perron, a one-timer, he scores! Jane Perron, a one-time blast. And North Dakota will stay on the power play now, trailing three to one. For the first time in program history, Omaha has swept the University of North Dakota. Show your school spirit with an exclusive UND Finding Hawks debit card found only at First Community Credit Union. The accolades are adding for Jackson Blake. The sophomore set a new NCHC record for most conference points in a season. But as the points keep piling up, Blake stays focused on the team goals this year. Well, how about that? Jackson Blake picking up an assist on that goal, so that means he's now the NCHC's top point getter in, in league play. I had no idea that was what it was at or where I was at in that, so it's definitely a humble honor, and I'm super fortunate to, to have great teammates to help me get that done. We're really happy for him, and it's, it's always cool when a player can go out and do that, but I think he's, he's more focused on other things, more team things right now, which is really cool to see. I got to play with him in Chicago for two years before coming here, and just seeing the way he's grown the past, I guess, four years is kind of remarkable, and he can go under the radar a little bit, and, uh, but he's the real deal. He's going to have a long career ahead of him, and um, he's a great kid as well. I think last year, Bubs gave me an opportunity, and I took advantage of it last year, and uh, I feel like since that, time he gave me that opportunity I've just been growing ever since. In his 200 foot game you see how how hard he works coming back in the defensive zone and things like just growing in in other aspects of the game not just scoring. We came on our visit together everything so just kind of seeing him grow as a player and as a human being as well as something very special. Just for him he's able to create a lot out of nothing it, it might seem like a nothing play you just you try to get him the puck create some space for him and then he can pretty much do anything with it. I mean, when, when he has time and he has space, he's able to do some special things. We played together on the power play in Chicago as well, so it was, you know, that chemistry was kind of built already before we got here, and um, I kind of know where he's going to be at before he's actually there, so uh, just try and find him, try and get the puck to him as, as much as possible and kind of get out of the way. Yeah, I feel like a lot of guys are so worried about goals and stuff, but my whole life I've just, you know, if you get an assist, it really feels the same to me, you know, so. I love setting up my teammates. I love seeing them score and celebrating stuff. And I love celebrating them with them. The difference between a goal and assist, I don't really see you know, a difference in those. So I love both of them. He can change the game with one play. That's him. He takes over games. If he wants to do something, he's going to do it. And that's kind of how good of a player he is. So um, I'm glad he's on our side. I mean, anytime you can provide offensively for your group and to give us a chance to win every night, I mean, if I'm doing that, I think that's you know one of my biggest roles on this team. So when I'm doing that and I'm doing it at my best, I feel like we get a good chance to, to win. It's playoffs the rest of the way now as top-seeded North Dakota opens the NCHC quarterfinals with Miami. Nodak knows that every win from here on out takes on extra meaning. It's great. I mean, anytime you can play here in front of our fans when they're going crazy, that's, that's what we want to do. For our last weekend here at the Ralph, so we're going to come out and we're going to be flying for them. You know, any team can win any night, especially in the NCHC, playing Miami this weekend. Their season's on the line, and we got to be ready to go. We know that they're going to come out hard, and they have nothing to lose. We just got to be ready for that puck drop on Friday night, and no holding back. I mean, we know they're no joke. I mean, they're a great team. We went in there and had our struggles with them on Friday and Saturday, so we know they're, a, they're kind of a gritty team. They play hard, and they play to their structure, and we know it's going to be a good hard weekend for us. We got to play our game for, I guess, 120 minutes, and we'll get what we want. We're going to give it our all. We know, obviously, we're the one seed, and you know, we got to bring it so we can get to St. Paul. Through these doors, presented by First Community Credit Union. Life is better with community.